Hey guys, welcome back to another pickup video. Joe here for Gamer Toys. I totally just said that intro backwards, but we're just gonna roll with it. So I got some more modern stuff. I've kind of been on a vintage or retro drought. Um, I haven't been picking up a lot of stuff. I wanna save a lot of that vintage toy hunting for the King County Toy Show coming up in October. So I've kind of been holding back on buying a lot of vintage stuff, but I mean, if I see it, I'm gonna grab it. So let's get into these modern pickups and take a look at what I grabbed. I really enjoyed Spider-Man Homecoming, so I kind of been buying some of the toys. I picked up the Spider-Man Homecoming Marvel Legends 4-inch 2-pack here with uh, the Vulture and Spider-Man. It's just a pretty cool set. This is what started it. I saw this at Target and I just picked it up because I thought it looked cool. And then that led to this and and uh, the six inch Spider-Man figure and you know, it, it's, it's all downhill from there. I'm a big fan of the Vulture. On the back, it's got a nice picture of the toys. There's a bio here, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just an awesome set that I grabbed because it was cheap. It was on clearance already. I'm pretty sure like these toys came out and then like a week later they were all on clearance at Target. I'm not sure why, but not complaining. Some single card stuff. I got Spider-Man in his homemade suit. Comes with a web, like a capture net on the end that you can put on his hand. Picture of him on the back. I mean, the card's all right. It's nothing spectacular. You got a cool picture of Spider-Man. You got the movie logo. I liked in the movie how he kept his homemade suit underneath the lockers and he'd like run over and yeah, it was cool. All right, let's just continue with Spider-Man. We got Spider-Man in his, uh, in the normal Spider-Man suit that Tony Stark made for him. You know that part in the movie when Spider-Man used a giant arm launcher and shout out a uh, giant blue missile yeah that part was cool and that brings us to the vulture i love this figure i love this character there was just i love the whole idea that with this movie they really kept it local the first marvel villain who wasn't like trying to take over the world you know he was just trying to make some money to support his family and i like that he was just a really localized villain there wasn't a big plot, or I should say, not plot, but there wasn't a huge scheme of him trying to take over the world. He's just trying to make some money the only way that he thought he could. It's an awesome design. I love the costume. Michael Keaton killed it. I think one of the reasons why I love this movie so much is because of Michael Keaton's performance as the Vulture. So hats off to you, Mike. Good shit. All right, I just grabbed Sting because he's Sting. This is the WWE Elite Hall of Fame. It says class of 2016. I'm not exactly sure how old this figure is. I um, I just saw it and I picked it up because Sting is sweet. It's got a picture of Sting on the back here looking tough as hell and uh, shows some other wrestlers in the line. King Booker, which I have seen, Jerry Lawler, which I haven't, and Edge, which I haven't. But I mean, this might be an older figure. I don't really pay that much attention to the wrestling section. Lately I have been only because I'm collecting those bad boys back there, the uh, the retro line. But Sting, cool figure. Last but not least, yes, I picked up another Star-Lord, but this one is from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, so that makes it okay. I think the face sculpt on this one is a little bit better than the other one from my last video. Uh, he comes with a swappable head with the mask, his uh, two blasters. It's just a really cool figure. The attention to detail in these figures is marvelous. You see what I did there? Mar marvelous. Mar Star Lord is one of my favorite characters. I like the first Guardians of the Galaxy a little bit better than Volume Two, but I mean, still overall, it's a great movie. Marvel doesn't really make bad movies, so. All right, so these are my pickups. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.